What is going on, my people who are also addicted to their home studios like me? It's such a great feeling, isn't it? All right. Today is going to be all about microphone choice for your home studio. So I've got numerous questions on what I used, what I've used in the past, what I currently use as far as microphone choice. So I'm just going to kind of run through everything I have, everything I've used and what I'm currently using right now. So the first mic I'll talk about because it's right in front of me is the SM7B. You've seen these guys around, right? Everybody's seen this. So this is my favorite vocal mic. I mean, this has stood the test of time. So this is the microphone Michael Jackson used to record the whole Thriller album. It is the the singer from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. It's like his signature sound. This is what he uses in the studio. I use this microphone on basically every singer. Uh, the only time I use something different is I'll use a condenser maybe for a hip hop or, or rap singer. Uh, but these microphones are just great and they're very consistent. These microphones also do not pick up much of the room sound. So if you have a bad sounding room or you're recording in your bedroom or something like that, this microphone's going to be a great choice when a condenser might not be such a great choice. So this is a great dynamic microphone. I use it on vocals. Use it as a hi-hat mic. Hell, you could even mic a guitar amp up with this. This is just an all-around great mic to have. So now let's talk about the next most reliable microphone I have. And that, of course, is going to be the SM57. Now, I just have a ton of these, and uh, everybody should at least have one of these. So these microphones are also very sturdy. Uh, it is my go-to microphone for snare drum. And usually when I'm making a guitar amp as well, uh, these things do not break and they're just an all-around great microphone, great dynamic microphone. So I, I really believe that everybody should have one of these. Uh, they're like a hundred bucks. Uh, the price never goes up. So definitely grab one of these if you don't have one. Next, let's talk kick drum. So a great kick drum mic, the one I started off with is this Shure Beta 52A. And this again is one of those that you'll see everywhere. Uh, when I got my first drum mic pack, this is what came in it. And uh, it, it's just a great kick drum microphone. I still use it today, but I use it in parallel with another mic. If you're looking to upgrade your kick drum sound, I would go with the Shure Beta 91A. And this is a condenser microphone that actually goes right inside the kick drum and just sits right up against the skin and this is a nice condenser microphone that will capture that slap of the kick drum so this usually sits right inside my kick drum while the mic that i was just talking about the beta 52 sits outside or at the porthole and i like to blend those sounds together it sounds freaking awesome since we're talking about drums let's stick with drums so for toms, right, toms are a very difficult instrument to get sounding good in a home studio. And I used to mic them up with the 57s. You can do that. Uh, I don't like the sound of them, though. So a good, affordable tom mic is going to be the Sennheiser E604s. So these are real, real tiny little guys. And they come with these little clips, and they're great. For Tom, I've seen people use these on snare as well. Um, and they, they do have more expensive Sennheisers, but for an affordable cost, these are great microphones for Toms. And I, I don't think I'll ever upgrade because I like them so much. So let's talk about overhead mics for a second since we're on the topic of drums. When I got my first pack of drum microphones, I got these guys the Samson CO2s, uh, and these are very cheap microphones. These are like $100, and they were perfectly fine for overheads for drums. So if you're starting out miking a kit and things like that, I highly recommend these, 
these Samson microphones. Uh, these can be used on things like acoustic guitar as well. Uh, they're not bad microphones for the price. So if you're just getting started, I would, I would definitely recommend getting something like this. So let's talk a little bit about what I upgraded to for my overhead mics. So a few years back, I bought two of these, the AKG C414s, and these are great microphones. They're large diaphragm, and they can be used for a ton of different things. And that's the reason I landed on them. So you can mic up anything from a saxophone, acoustic guitar, overheads, Basically anything, you could put this on a guitar amp if you wanted to. Um, so that's the reason I landed on these. And there are a bunch of different polar pattern options. So these are very versatile microphones. And they also have some roll-offs in the back. So if you're trying to roll off low end while you're recording, things like that. So those are really all the microphones I use on a daily basis when I'm tracking clients or tracking my bands. Uh, there's no need for me really to go out and buy anything else right now uh, because I have everything I need. Now, a couple of the microphones I, I laid out were a little bit up in price range, but for the most part, most of these microphones were very cheap and affordable. So if you have any other questions on microphone choice, what you should buy, let me know. I'm here to help. Be happy to answer any questions or anything like that. Guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to download your free Ultimate Home Studio Mix Guide. I made this for you guys so you could start getting your mixes sounding better. There's a lot of great information in there. And be sure to reach out if you have any questions or if you need any help with your mixes. Thanks.